the spotlight is shining on the University of Minnesota chapter of Engineers Without Borders. I was very excited and uh, in incredibly ecstatic to find out, you know, we're going to have some money to make this project actually happen. Keen Footwear has awarded the U of M's EWB chapter with a $25,000 grand prize for a project proposal that students say will bring recycling and sanitation to a part of the world where those basic amenities are thought of as rare luxuries at best. Our idea is to get them to think not of plastics as waste, but as potentially a material that they can use to produce useful uh, products. David Gasparino, a former U of M graduate student and current graduate student Brian Bell, are both part of this unique program, and both have the potential to make a major difference in the lives of Haitians. The students that are involved with Engineers Without Borders are some of the most committed and brightest students that I've ever met. With the Department of Chemical Engineering here and all the bright minds uh, and, and the strong polymer department, uh, we thought we had a perfect fit. Gasparino says they'll use plastic garbage collected off the ground in Haiti, melt that plastic down, and then turn it into a workable material that can be turned into toilet systems and sporting equipment. The project will help Haitians environmentally, there's no doubt about that. But the plastics recycling program will also create a new industry in a part of the world that is challenged economically. The idea uh, further along in the future is to maybe turn this into some sort of micro enterprise. With the help of the prize money from Keen, there is a good chance the U's EWB chapter will accomplish everything they hope to in Haiti with regards to recycling and sanitation, a major accomplishment for a group of determined college students. It's really a sign of what, what the students that are involved care about, um, and, and that is helping people in need. For the University of Minnesota, I'm Justin Ware.